Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle with Prettiest Problem. If you are new here, I do videos on beauty, fitness, and lifestyle. I'm on my everlasting fitness journey and I love all things beauty. I would love for you to consider subscribing and turning on your post notifications so that you can be updated every time I post a new video. If you're an OZ Bigitty, hey girl, hey, welcome back. And let's get into this video. Don't forget to thumbs up. In my last video, if you haven't checked it out, please do so. I'll link it up in the cards. I did a Fashion Nova haul, and in that video, I talked about doing my own photo shoots. So, in this video, I'm going to take y'all along with me on doing a photo shoot. I'm actually filming a few videos for my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I would highly suggest it because that is where I get into all of these looks. And I'm doing like a lot of mini tutorials and stuff like that. So I am filming a video for my Instagram today and I'm also doing a photo shoot. So I decided to film the process. I wanna take you along and kind of show you how I go about creating my own photo shoot and you know, just getting it all together. I'm also gonna show how I edit my photos. I don't know if I'm gonna include it in this video because it might be a little bit too long, but if not, that will be the next video. So if you're interested to see how I create some of these looks, then keep watching. Okay, so the first things first, I am in my natural state. I am going to start off by applying a wig. Now this wig I decided to put on is a Nicki Minaj inspired wig. I've been wanting to do this hair color for forever. I'm hoping that it looks good on my skin tone, but it is the Nicki Minaj inspired look. I don't know if I should walk you all through how to put on the wig. I might just speed through this. The first thing I'm gonna do is braid my hair down so you can watch as I do that.
this so i know this shot is like all over the place but now i'm gonna go change into my clothes and then i'm going to set up my little scene to look like i'm having drinks on zoom with my girl that i am collabing with so I just finished my Instagram collaboration video. So next I'm gonna go and take a picture. I don't know where I'm gonna go and film yet, but I have an idea of a location. That's another thing. So you have to find a location to shoot your videos. And that is an important part because you make the picture, but also the setting makes the picture. So it's important to like pick a good setting. You just wanna pick somewhere that looks interesting. I really like picking like dingy, dark places. Not necessarily dingy and dark. I don't know. Honestly, I just find places that like as I'm driving around and I'm like, oh my God, I love this place. So I have a place in mind and I think that's where I'm gonna do it. It's like an abandoned house, I think. And I'm just gonna take pictures out in front, so. Okay, so we're headed to the location to shoot. And originally I had, first of all, I had on something different. I just threw this on because I wasn't really feeling the green and I had already worn it. So I just switched it up. Um, and originally I had a different location in mind. I can't really put my finger on where that location was. So I'm just gonna use the location that I've used for the past few shots. And I changed to this dress with long sleeves. It's actually really light but it's long sleeve and it's like 85 degrees out. So we'll see how this goes. So basically what you need is a shutter button, which it connects to your phone and it'll take the pictures for you. And you also need a tripod. So this tripod I got in the back seat, I just attached a little phone holder to the tripod. I'm trying to wait for this family to like pass me, but they're taking forever to like get out. So I might just go. But I just really hate when people are going past because it looks crazy when you're taking your own videos or pictures. But after a while, you kind of get used to it. But if I can avoid it, I will. So. so yeah, those are the two things that you need. I'm also going to have my camera with me and uh, I will film me like taking my, my pictures with my actual camera. So stay tuned. So I don't know if you can see me, but this is my tripod and I put the tripod somewhere and angle it. And I also take my phone, make sure the lens is nice and clean and I place it in the little holder. And then I set up the phone to start taking pictures. I also have to connect my Bluetooth snapper here. Let me set it back far enough. I have all my stuff here, I move it out the way, put on my shoes, fix my hair a little bit. And actually the guy that owns this property drove past one day and told me it was okay that I can use this area. And as you can see, there's no traffic. So no one really comes around. Every now and then some cars will drive past. And I'll take a few test shots first to see where I'm sitting. Okay, I like this. Right, let me make sure that you all can see what I'm doing. And I just click and press and pose.
I'm burning up. I just finished shooting and came to this place that I know really no one comes around. Like, <clears throat> honestly, today I was shocked because there was even less traffic here than typical. Like, maybe three or four cars passed since I was sitting here. But typically, you know, there's a few cars here and there that come through. It's very secluded and I have red hair. So I'm just, you know, I'm not that damn confident, even though, I mean, it looks bomb, but. So yeah, I went there and that's where I did my photo. So I showed you, hopefully the camera picked up what I was doing, but basically I just set up the camera, made sure that my shutter was working and then get different poses, you know? You sometimes wanna practice your poses before you go out so you know what looks good in your outfit. That's just a, a tip to help with the whole process. But yeah, so that's it for this. We're gonna go ahead and head on into the outro. Thumbs up, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me get together and seeing how I shoot my own pictures for Instagram. I do my own personal photo shoots and they look really professional. I mean, if you have a good camera, if you have a good location, if you can get your hair and makeup together yourself, then you can be your own team, you know? That's the vibe in 2020, because clearly Rona has everyone isolated. So you have to be your own team nowadays out here in these streets. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful to you, or you just enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, it really helps me in the algorithm. I'm trying to post more content. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram. So instagram.com slash prettiest problem. And that's where you're gonna see all of the magic. You'll see the collab that I filmed in this video. And you'll also see the pictures that we took together. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.